must have heard a bit about there's like lots of reports at the moment about them not getting on a bit of Misha apparently bullying some of them have you heard any of this I think we haven't really heard anything about it but I think X Factor is like it's a really diff difficult competition and with everyone being the same sort of situation with our <coughs> year we kind of all banded together a little bit but I suppose yeah. You know, everyone was, was kind of just going through the same things every week, so we kind of all, all just made great friends to everyone, whereas this year it doesn't appear to be that way a little bit. And it's early days, few. yeah, too. Yeah, it is early days. I think there's people are just getting used to each other, you know, that sort of thing. So, I mean, it's like being thrown in, in a new school. I mean, we found that being abandoned thrown together, so it must be you know, difficult characters. when everyone's your competition. But, you know, I mean, you just got to enjoy it more than anything, not, not take it too seriously, I suppose, and just have a little bit of fun with it. I think it's unfair to judge um, the contestants, you know, just on what's in the press at the moment because although the press have been fantastic to us, also there was a few quite funny stories on the show, for example, mm. one week apparently Wagner headbutted Harry, which, you know... And, and apparently you happened. were bit by a shark, and so... Apparently I was bit by a shark. So there is some, you know, stories that I think maybe are taken out of proportion, so I think it's really unfair if we, like, were to say either way. So were you bitten by a shark? Uh, no, I wasn't. I was stung by a sea urchin. It's not, <laughs> not, not as heroic, right. so just go with the fact that you were, you were a bit more short. Well, I thought of two sharks. I don't like to go either. I have one eye. I'm serious. Um, and Gary, at the moment, has been saying that he thinks Louis has been making his act <coughs> worse. Would you agree with that? Well, I think Louis gets the, in the same situation every year where he's kind of, you know, he's having a little... Well, I don't know, actually. How would you put it? I, I wouldn't say so. I think Louis's got a very... Um, a very unique way of mentoring his acts and um, to be honest he's on the X Factor people don't think so but he's actually got a good track record I mean yeah, like yeah. the people who have like come out of the show you know you've got JLS Jedward. and Jedward and they've both you know still going now so I don't think you can, uh, well, I think you can really say, argue with that yeah what you can say about Louis is he kind of puts puts his acts more as performers a little bit I, I think so. it's often seen on the show as like a little bit of a gag that he gets the acts that some people might not take so seriously mm -hmm. So I think he just tries to go and show that, you know, everyone's got talent. Yeah. And do you reckon that the show's worse this year without having Simon Cowell on it? I don't think so. I think it's different, but I wouldn't say that it was worse. Um, <coughs> you know, the new judging panel really freshens it up, like, a lot. Fresh. It's a lot different. Um, but I think they're great. They go well together. I think it's, it's good to watch. I think it's a, I think it's a different show this year. Um, I think, to a degree, there's maybe a little less drama, maybe, mm. and it's more, I think it's more music-based than it's ever been this year, yeah. just throwing it yeah. out there. Fair enough. I think it was really, we, we all said as well, it was really different to see, like, how the kind of edge of the show has changed a little bit, with, like, people like Talisa on there and, and Cher Lloyd as well, that, you know, there's, there hasn't really been a rapper on there before, and um, Professor Green got to perform. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, so that was really it. interesting to see. I mean, we were talking about it earlier on, weren't we? The fact that there's never really been a rapper mm. to perform on the show, so you must be like one of the first. I tell you, one big change actually that's, that's, re that's really easy to notice is the production behind the acts have really oh, upped yeah. its game this year. Mm. Like even something as small as the screens behind them, but not just that. Johnny it's Kimmel almost like you're at a musical, like yeah, even, that kind of production. Even the dancers and everything. Like I, when I was watching it, obviously this weekend, I felt like. It, every act looked like they were like a visiting act that's come to perform with their own yeah. production. Every production was so different, and it doesn't actually look like it's contestants performing. It looks like somebody's come to visit the show and they've like got a big that. production. It's almost like you're going to watch the X Factor tour. Yeah, that yeah. Kind of production. Yeah. Really cool. tour production. And do you think that's better that they're just getting it bigger and bigger, or do you think that it's just like overkill? I think this is what they've been trying to get at for you know for over the last few series. They've been trying to build to where they are now and. Or they're calling it the new generation, the next generation. And they're I think it's good because it, it, it kind of gives you an idea of the artist that the, the contestant's going to be when they come off, and like you kind of get an idea of what they look like with the production, then you mm -hmm. kind of know what kind of artist they'll be when they come yeah. off the show. So it's a, good, it's a good guideline, I think, to set for the contestant. I think it really separates the stars as well because it kind of puts the acts in the kind of situation, like you say, they would be when they come off the show. And, you know, some of them step up to it, some of them don't. Mm -hmm. And I think this year as well, I think they've shown a lot of the judges kind of um, being with the contestants a lot. Yep. I think the, the judges of this year are very, very for the contestants, yeah. which I think is really, really nice. Spend a lot of time with the hostess as well. Yeah. Although Louis did obviously have to choose between two of his acts, mm. Sammy and Kitty, and he made that decision to get rid of one of them. Do you think he was right in choosing himself? It must be, and it must be really hard. He's had to do mm. that quite a few times, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I, think I personally, if, uh, I, if I was Louis, I would have chose to save Kitty, because although she's controversial, I think 
her voice on that sing off was we were saying was absolutely really fantastic. Real. Like gave us shivers. We were like, I thought she was amazing. Oh, cool. And um, obviously, you guys know what it's been like. You know, you've like been massively like catapulted into fame and Whoa. stuff. Um, have you got any maybe like dating advice for the current contestants, like maybe Frankie? He knows what he's doing. Yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> I don't think he needs any advice from us. I think he's got it. Got it on I think he's got his game Down to a team. And if not, he's got Gary, so he's all sorted out. He's all good. Yeah. What about Rith Rhythmics? Do you reckon that... They are sick. Love I think they're really yeah. good. Yeah, really yeah, good. Really nah, good. Nah, you fancy on him, mate. Yeah, I do. The blonde one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I can't remember her name. I thought it was the other one that was fancy. Who? Nah, fancy the more. No, no, which one's in? There's four of them. Nah, fancy the more. Fancy the more. No, I don't. Are you looking at uh, America at the moment, or are you just sticking to British well, soil? We've got a lot to, 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 to kind of do over here at the moment, yeah. yeah. You know, we owe, we owe the fans a lot over here, so we've kind of got to concentrate on that a little bit. Yeah, so... You know, um, tour coming up as well, so... Yeah. And also, we're just back from Europe, so we're going to try and get there as soon as possible as well, just go back out and see the fans again. <coughs> Wicked. And, like, do you like having such close contact with fans on stuff like Twitter? Yeah, we yeah, do. Yeah, I think it's great. It's great. It makes... I think... <coughs> I think... One of the things that they like about us is that we don't try and kind of act as like this big intimidating thing. We act quite like mm. the kind of people that they go to school with. So I think, you know, the fact that we can kind of talk about the same things and actually just have a normal conversation, I think that's something that then would make them like us because they can relate to us and stuff. Because like you're not putting on yeah, anything, you're just being yourself. Yeah. No, we're, not trying to, really? we're not trying to act like this big kind of character thing, it's just... Well, it's just, just, we're just yeah. yeah, we're just... Because, Zane, you're quite philosophical on Twitter. Yeah. Like, I have noticed that. Are you, are you kind of like that, then, in real life? Um, yeah, I, 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 tend to, I tend to think quite philosophically. Uh, so I just try to get that out across on Twitter. But, yeah, when I'm talking to fans and stuff, I do just like to be myself. Zane actually has a motto for every single day. He makes up a new motto for every single day. I think that's amazing. Yeah. Do you really? Where where'd you get the mottos from? <laughs> you've not got one of those calendars where it like turns over and you've got a new phrase for the day. No, I haven't. I haven't got one of them. Liam's making the whole motto thing up every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I, I I do I do like to tweet like where deep meaning. When you have an epiphany, like you just let let it all out.